First News heads back to school this morning. On Monday, we venture to DeKalb Central. Today, we're at Whitco Community Schools. News Channel 15's Rod His Song is live in South Whitley near Whitco High. He is talking with school officials about the upcoming year. Good morning, Rod. Hey, good morning, Terry. Yeah, we're going to spend all morning out here in South Whitley talking about the uh, Whitco Community Schools. And boy, do they have a lot to talk about. The superintendent of the district joins us first this morning. Steve Clayson is with us. And uh, we've been talking a little bit and uh, going back and forth uh, over the week about what you guys have going on. A lot of achievements and uh, goals that you're progressing towards. But the big thing right now is some construction. You're expanding one of your schools and you're building a whole new school. So talk to us uh, first a little bit about the projects you have going on. Well, we have two projects. They're both our elementary projects. Our buildings were last touched in about 1985. And we have some great achievement, as we were talking about, with our elementary schools. So we wanted our buildings to match that. And our mechanicals were shot, and we needed to go in and do some work. So we've uh, renovated, are in the process of renovating South Whitley right now. And we're building a whole new Pearson Elementary School. All right, you brought a couple of uh, uh, display items, I guess you could say. They go all out for us here at Whitco this morning. Uh, Ross is going to show you a couple of the proposed plans. Uh, South Whitley there that you're looking at right now. Talk a little bit why the need is to expand there at South Whitley Elementary. Well, we've always been cramped at South Whitley Elementary. We still have about the same number of kids we had two years ago. But we wanted to really provide some, some educational opportunities for our kids in art and music, as well as in the STEM area. And so we've got three unique features that we're building into it. Our art and music used to be in a classroom. Now we have an art and music area. Um, we've added a large group instruction area for our STEM. And we've got a new concept, which is called a learning commons, that we're introducing into the elementary schools so that we can do more individual individualized and differentiated instruction for our kids. All right, and then real quick, Pearson's getting a whole new building. The old one's been, uh, about 90 years old. We're almost out of time, but real quick, what's going to happen over at Pearson? Pearson's got a new building, same kind of features in it. Uh, again, it was going to cost more to fix the old one than, than we did with the new one. And so they're getting a brand new facility in Pearson. All right, so uh, Steve's going to be with us uh, the next half hour to talk about more of the technology uses here at the district. Stay with us. For now, we're live in uh, foggy South Whitley. By the way, no delay yet, kids. Rod Hissong, News Channel 15. <laughs>